Hale. It is a beautiful day in November. It's actually the week of Thanksgiving. And in today's video, I want to do a highlight video on, I think, a very underappreciated subtropical plant that you absolutely should be growing if you are in the 9B climate. So here in the Phoenix, Arizona area, you know, Las Vegas, Southern California, anywhere where it gets quite warm in the summer. So the plant here in front is a curry leaf plant. It's native to India. As you can see, this one in front is more of a, a bush shape, so you can train it that way, um, top it and keep it more in that format, or you can let it grow into a small tree up to about 20 feet tall. I was told that it was frost intolerant and a risk to put in the ground here. After years of growing it, seven years of growing it, I can tell you that it is not frost intolerant and does fantastic actually in ground here. What's amazing about this plant is it will take the summer in stride. You can put it in the hottest part of your yard and it will thrive. It will not burn up in the summer. So it's a fantastic plant to serve as a companion plant to more sensitive plants. It can actually create that overstory layer. Also in January 2019, when we saw a week of lows in the mid 20s here in my yard, a lot of trees suffered. The curry leaf had no damage whatsoever. In those temperatures definitely had a lot of frost during that time and the leaves stayed green so it this is a true evergreen even in our climate it will not lose its leaves clearly uh, this is also a very beneficial plant you can harvest the leaves and use them to cook with so definitely a good plant in the food forest for that utility it's also very easy to propagate this plant via seed. While it's not uh, carrying fruit right now, in springtime, this plant will put out flower buds at the top here, and then they will turn into berries that actually ripen into a dark purple to black color. You can basically take those seeds directly out of the flesh, sow them in pots, and they'll sprout within a couple weeks. I had 100% germination rate on them. The one caveat is that you do need fresh seeds when you do that. Otherwise, the germination rate goes down quite a bit. So definitely don't get seeds from mail order. You're going to have very little likelihood of success. You really need to grow the plant, you know, yourself to get those fresh seeds. So we'll look at another curry leaf plant I've got in the yard, just one that I recently transplanted over here that was actually started from seed from the tree we just looked at. This plant is a couple years old at this point. So you can see a fairly good sized trunk there. It's still fairly thin. Uh, you will find with this plant that it's very spindly initially. And so it does take quite a few years to get the trunk to a thick size where it's more wind tolerant. So I would suggest when you're looking at location to plant this near a wall or near a wind protected area. The branches are very lanky and brittle and so your tree, especially when it's carrying berries, you know, fruiting, it's going to weigh down those branches and they can snap. So wind protection is definitely a, a good thing. You can see I've got it very close to this wall, just about two feet away. And I trained it early so, you know, cut it about a foot or less from the ground, which forced my main scaffold limbs. So definitely a good thing to train this young because it's going to just want to grow into a tall stick. And that way you'll get more of a bushy shape to this. So the intent with this is because these trees, especially this black sapote, but even the longan over here had such a tough time during summer, I wanted a true evergreen that could take our sun in summer and also our cold in winter and provide protection to these plants. So curry leaf is going to do excellent at both of those. Your first and second winter I would suggest putting some kind of frost protection over it. After that it's going to be established and big enough that it can handle frost. So here's another little plant that I've got here 
This was also grown from seed and you can see it's quite small. And this is really more the size that you can expect to find at a nursery. So we can see on a new seedling, the trunk is quite thin, um, really like a toothpick. Despite how small these plants start out as their first summer, they can easily put on six feet of growth. So they grow quite fast. Um, I found that you can plant them in straight clay soil. They are not pH sensitive and they tend to do just fine in our clay. They don't need, you know, soil amendments. Uh, given how small this plant is, it's definitely not going to be okay in a frost situation. So um, this is where you do want to protect it its first year. These are very frost sensitive when they're young like this. So, you know, pretty easy to protect in winter. I'll throw some kind of cage around it, tomato cage, whatever, and then just um, throw some frost cloth over it you know, completely over the plant down to the ground. That's going to trap the heat, keep it warm enough, and then also protect it from frost. So super easy to, to frost protect them their first year just because they're small. And then as far as where to get them, I know Velarde Gardens sells to summer winds at different times of the year. Um, tropical fruit tree nurseries like Queen Creek Tropicals, Travel's Green Life, generally do carry them, of course, call ahead. Um, I would suggest probably not planting this now like I have here and wait until springtime. Animal care, I don't fertilize these trees. They don't really require that. They're really fuss free. The only thing is really pruning for shape. Like I mentioned, quite lanky. So in springtime, that's usually when I'll give this a haircut, trim it down, you know, um, to my desired height. And also initially for that uh, strong scaffold limb system. You want to kind of prune low early and establish that unless you just want a very tall tree. But remember, they're fairly brittle, so you're going to have to brace it up if you do want it more of a tall structure right off the bat. If you have questions about curry leaf, please uh, put them in the comment section below. While they do require some frost protection when young, they are really fuss-free, carefree once they mature two years and above and you'll get a beautiful edible plant in your yard. True evergreen. Thanks for watching. Happy gardening.